the work is not a work of one author who is writing his opinions about any subject in the world, but it is rather some kind of a summary of the discussions, the discourses between people, uh, not only contemporaries that are disputing and disagreeing or adding to each other's notions, but also a, a, a discussion that goes on along the ages in which you have a, a lots of cross cross references uh, between between people that live five five hundred or thousand years apart. Because of that, the, the Talmud contains a a huge number of statements made by different people that are not always uh, agreeing about the same the same points. Therefore, uh, the possibility to, to, to quote from the Talmud uh, almost anything on any subject is much bigger even than that in the Bible, that, that of the Bible. Uh, it, is, uh, it, is, it is well known that if one is, is making the search, you can always find a biblical verse to support a certain opinion. But in the Talmud, it is, it is much easier, again, because the book itself is not, is not uniform, is not monolithic. Therefore, it has many, many, many different opinions. So that makes it, again, is a certain difficulty. And, uh, not to find a source within the Talmud for, for any specific opinion, but rather finding a solution, a solution for, 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 uh, for, for any question. One has to add to it another difficulty. The Talmud, as much of the, of the Jewish literature, almost from beginning, doesn't doesn't speak, doesn't write in, in abstract notions. The, even when there are generalizations, they are put in, in non-abstract non -abstract terms. Because of that, you have rather images, or in a different way, you have pictures, proverbs, and more than anything else, cases. The, uh, in, in so many ways, the book is made of specific cases that were handled during all that time. Those cases serve as precedents and as, as material for, for study. Uh, just as a, again, outside comparison, uh, let's say, English law is built in a very similar way on precedence, not in a constitution. In, in, in that way, the Talmud is also built on, on a, a huge number of cases, cases that were discussed and sometimes solved in, in time, and they serve as a, the building stones of any further research. Because of that, if one wants to, to deal with almost with any problem, you, you will usually find a case that has something, it is a complete solution to, to, a, to a problem that, that one encounters. Sometimes it is, it, it is remote enough and it needs some creative work in order to connect the, the specific, specific question with, with, with some kind of an answer, or at least a, a, a format in which to answer the, this, these problems. Because, because all these elements formulating very, very general statements about many, many problems in, in any form of life is 
is difficult. We can have at, at, at the utmost some very large outlines, basic directives. And th these basic directives sometimes show a, a way how certain problems can be solved. Sometimes they just, they just uh, are like arrows pointing to a direction without giving any specific, specific clear answer. Now, that is true about almost every, every part of, of life that, that Talmud deals with, which is practically everything, because the Talmud does, deals with every subject from, say, uh, astronomy, the, the, the theology of astronomy, the behavior of animals, uh, the uh, human behavior, human mind, human habits. Uh, uh, it, it deals with, with uh, social and communal issues as well as marital issues, up to the to 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 sometimes very minute in very diverse details. So everything is included in, among them a very comparatively large number of cases that deal with medicine in different in different aspects. From a very particular cases to medical advice. Medical advice in a, in a very specific way which comes to what do you do when you suffer from a certain infliction? What, what, what uh, materials are used as a cure? Or sometimes, what is the cause for a certain malady? Up to discussions about more general questions, how you deal with, the, with, with, with sets of, 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 of problems and with ethical and moral problems that stem from them. So the book contains a vast amount of material, but this material is not organized. And even when organized, is never, is never sufficient to give answers to all the questions. Therefore, any, any kind of, of studying, Talmud and some, some other subject, as well as studying Talmud, Talmud in itself, is, is always an open-ended process. You can, you can formulate your own question and try to find an answer with a certain hope of finding enough material to build a coherent answer without any, any certainty that you, you, will, you will indeed find something that will be conclusive in, on that subject. That is, to say the least, it is more than slightly confusing, but uh, that is possibly a very good definition in general of the process of, of knowledge, not as... Uh, as those things that are that are written down in some place and are now repeated 